shirt. <laughs> How do you feel about your play rehearsal? Are you happy to wear makeup? What's your favorite part of, of being in the play? Playing with the girls. With the girls? Oh, that's so sweet. Are you excited to see Papa Nana tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. And I love mine. You love your what? My heart. You love your heart. I love your heart. So, bye. I'm going to do a big bear. I like your lipstick. Thank you. I'm going to put some on you. Is something in my tea? A little bit of sauce from the pizza. Ah. There you go. Does that go in my mouth? It tastes oh, saucy. Why are you drooling? Because it tastes saucy. It was minty. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's stay still. Let's let that set for a little bit. Look at the purple, guys. Does the purple look beautiful? Mm hmm. Thanks. Let me take it off so it's red. Okay. And then I'm going to do one more. One more red thing? Yeah, just to make it pop. Perfect. Did it pop? Yep. How do you feel about going to your play soon? Seeing Papa Nana and everything, being a sheep. Good. So, bye bye.
that way. Go. Go up Lila, the seat. Go. Go, 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 go. 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 Comfy in mommy's clothes. Hi, middle child. Oh, hi. Mm. <sighs> he smells great. He smells like just cologne and natural woods and forest. Mm. I want some nummies. Oh. I just want to give some quick life updates, take advantage of this time alone that I have currently. We just all went out to the park, Lila me her father they're gonna stop and get lunch and then head here so i have a little bit of time to myself right now with my kitties mm. and i just want to give some life updates lila had her very first performance play yesterday and the day before through her dance studio and i think she had a lot of fun the first day she had, i don't think she knew what what she was in store for so I feel like she was, I'm a little biased, but I feel like she was the star of the show. She was just so cute up there and she's the youngest in her class. And you can kind of see that in the video that I took. It was her first time on stage. Like you can see, she's just like learning how to do it. But um, the second time she got more of the hang of it. You could tell she's more nervous now that she knew what to expect. And she was looking all out in the crowd for her dad and me because the first day, I called her name and she saw us in the crowd and popped a squat on the stage. But um, so she was looking all for us on the second day and I didn't notice that till looking back on the clips. 
I was like, oh, she was looking out in the crowd all for us. And she like stayed on the stage at the end of the second day too. This time she had a friend, but I could tell she was just looking out in the audience in the same spot where her father and I were sitting the day prior, but we were now sitting on the opposite side. And even though we prepared her for that and told her that over and over and over again, kids don't listen. So she got up there and she was looking for us in the wrong spot. I just felt a little bad for that, but she was the cutest little sheep. She was one of Little Bo Peep's sheep. It was at a local college. Rehearsals were long as crap. I honestly thought they were gonna be letting the littles out sooner. They had them there so late the one day and I actually had like the perfect opportunity to get to know. Oh shit, that one right on my counter. One of the um, dance moms to another one of the littles there. She knows about my YouTube, so shout out to you if you're watching this. And she has a TikTok and we have a lot in common and I'm just super grateful for meeting someone in the area who like I click with, you know? And we talked about having play dates in the future. I just, it's been a while since I've like hung out with people, so I get socially anxious. Who wants their food? And then Mango, she's on a diet, so she doesn't get that, but sometimes I let her lick the lid. Mango. And she loves it. She's waiting for it at this point. She doesn't even care that she doesn't get the whole thing. At first I felt bad, but now she's just used to it. Mango has arthritis, so taking her back monthly for shots. She's been to the vet so many times since Lila was born trying to figure out what's going on with her health. And we finally know. So taking steps forward to getting Mango healthy too. Because it's so funny. Well, for some reason, Mango is like Another dance mom through Lila's studio lives in my neighborhood and her cat always comes to my house for food. Hi, oh, where'd your bowl go? Hold on a second, let me get you a bowl. I have a few strays that come actually. Mm, back up, back up, back up. Man, I'm trying to get out, he's sick, so I'm trying to keep him in right now. That kitty's name is Tails and belongs to one of the other dance moms through Lila's studio. And she said when she moved into the neighborhood, he just showed up one day and kept showing up. So he must have been the previous owner's cat and they shouldn't take him, which is super sad, but she, luckily she took him. So he stays in their garage, she said overnight. But a lot of times he comes and visits me at nighttime, morning, all throughout the day. I think he steals food from like every neighbor in the neighborhood. My kitties got some weird like respiratory cold this past month and Sherbert got medication. He's like back to his kitten self, but Banana still has like conjunctivitis in his eyes. I'm gonna call the vet for him tomorrow. Mango, she's the first who caught it and she is all back to normal too. And it's weird because I'm a little bit allergic to cats and dogs. I got some weird like wheeze going on. I was the only one in the house that got hit with it. I went to the doctor and got referred to an allergist. So hopefully that will help. But it's a beautiful day out. We're, we've just been enjoying the outdoors. Lila skipped her nap today. And tonight I was thinking we have a campfire first, maybe do some s'mores, then eat some pizza. That's where the cat bowl went. Miss Lila. And I'll put daughter in here. Okay. Making some cat soup? Yeah. <laughs> yes. But she picked out after her play some sunflowers from the grocery store, which is so cute. On the way in, she was saying she wanted another rose, some roses. And then she saw some a bouquet dipped in water and she's like, why is it in water? I want that one. Not realizing that they're all in water to keep them <laughs> thriving and surviving. And then she just kept circling around the flowers and saw the sunflowers and was like, these, I want these. And Lila is a sunflower lover, so it makes sense. Good choice, good choice, Lila. Sunflowers are beautiful, just like you. She's busy making cat food soup. Just don't eat it. She's dressed in Cinderella, Cinderella. <laughs> Oh, 
pocket on there. Um, I was playing with the Nerf ball. But last of the story, I was playing with the Nerf box. And that was the story. And you shouldn't have been. Yeah. I did it! Look! Hi. You guys being left out? Here's my name, girl. You make me smile. But yeah, you can see after she got her first arthritis shot, she's feeling a lot better. My cats have been loving drinking water out of cups, like humans. Yep, even with ice cubes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 